The Dread X Collection Part 2! Guaranteed to be 16% scarier than the Dread X Collection Part 1, and that is because there are two more games in this collection! Before we begin, let me just say thank you so much, Mr. Dread X, for the key which he gave me so I might partake. Let's go! I have. Hello. Uh, oh, good morning. Hi! Uh, or thank you. Maybe. Good night. That's kind of kind of laid out. Whatever, I can't. Really? Bell anymore. Uh, Anyways, <laughs> looks like it's. I'm, I'm sorry to wake you up like this. You're probably wondering how you got here. Uh, yes. Well, no. I won't beat around the bush. Okay. Bad news. You are infected. Oh no. With it what? must have happened during the last testing cycle. The protocol should have been enough to prevent contagious exposure, but... What protocol? Well, maybe those were all full too. Okay, it, sure. It doesn't matter anymore. Uh, the good news is that we caught it early enough to do something about it. Oh, good. See that TV in front of you? Yes. There's a key on top. Go pick it up. That doesn't look like a key. Oh, yeah, got it, got it, got okay, it. Okay, uh, good. Yeah. You are still able to follow simple commands. I'm good at stuff. Oh, your legs still work. Uh, all good signs. Yeah. Sure. Now for the harder part. We are going to have to give you a cognitive kick. Oh, okay. Um, what does that mean? That should be enough to jumpstart your, your natural neural defense mechanisms. Okay. In, in normal circumstances, we'd be able to just recontextualize your inlaid traumas and, and reintroduce them as false memories through neural implants. That means nothing to me. Go, that's go on. Not an option anymore. Uh, so I, uh, well, improvised. See those VHS tapes uh, locked up around you? Yes. Use that key to open up one. Oh, okay. Uh, then just pop that bad boy into the VCR and, uh, what? Wait. Well, okay, I can't really tell you that. It won't work if I do. Fair enough. We're gonna start with Charlotte's Exile because my favorite developer, John Szymanski, sorry, David Szymanski, you don't get to be my favorite because John made Kyle is famous. No hard feelings, though. Charlotte's gone missing. The last hope of her embrace lies with an old note written in an ancient language. Heck yeah, we gonna play this. I know, I know the first three games. We're starting with Charlotte's. Then, ooh, cool. <gasps> There's a comic. Press inventory to view. Ooh. I didn't really have it in game in mind. I just knew that I was f really done. That this was the last time. I drove four hours to Flagstaff. It wasn't much as far as plans go, but at least I was certain of it. Just keep my engine running and the wheel straight. That's all there was to it. I wouldn't turn around. Not this time. After that, I'd figure it out. On my grave, nothing could get me to go back. Not this time. Not even the sky falling down. And then... I did. Ooh! Exciting! We're gonna start with Charlotte's Exile. I, I am excited to read more of those comics, but for now... Charlotte's Exile. Also, a quick side note, these were all made in 10 days. My beloved Charlotte, the woman that had become as much a part of me as I was of myself. She had always been ravenous in studying the ancient texts left of the Eldritch Gods. I didn't understand what she told me about her studies, but I supported her as best I could. Also, one last quick note, the theme behind this was... Uh, El uh, Lovecraftian, which I love Craftian. And then, one day, she began to talk of such things as saving our realm from the incoming evil and being infested by an approaching darkness. I woke the next morning and she was gone. A note left to me only contained the words, I have been banished to the ancient realm. 
It is for the best. Distraught and searching for anything I could do to bring her back, I sought the help of a miser high in the mountains. He showed me but one hope, a torn scrap of ancient text describing the process of recapturing the essence of a loved one from the dark pits of that shadowy place. Torn and ragged, it was written in an eldritch language long forgotten by mm. our culture, known only to those who had contact with the eldritch gods themselves. I snatched the scrap from the old man and Rude. brought it to the great library. I thought I could use the texts written there to decode the alphabet of the ancient language so I could know the secrets written on the scrap of paper and bring her back to me. In the library, then, is where my story begins. It's where my story begins! Get your- get yourself out of here, John! I'm the main character. Ooh! 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 Oh, that's so cool, cool, cool! Alright, so... We have to... We have to figure out an alphabet. Whilst we avoid... The... Oh, what is all of this? Oh, this is so cool! We have to decode... This note... So we can find our loved one... And get her essence, which is hot. <laughs> Compiled for the study and protection against ancient terrors. There's my first clue. Oh. Huh. I should jot that down. Monsters part A. That's monster. Draw line from A to the symbol found in the book. Was that it? That looks like it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Cthulhu, you're so hot. Feared by all, Cthulhu causes subconscious feelings of anxiety felt by generation to generation. He currently slumbers in the ancient realm, although it is thought he could return someday. His name, Cthulhu was lengthened when translated by the old English scribes adding H U L H in the middle to visually brighten his prominence in ancient texts. So this is a C. Oh, I think that, I think that was it. Yep. Yeah. This this is actually difficult. Also, super duper cool. The key looking thing. This is the U. And then this funky looking three is a T. T T. All right, good, good, good. We are doing great. It, oh, no. If it's close, look at it. What do you mean? What? How? How do I look? How do... Wait, wait. How do, how do I look? The end of... Narlhotep. Gnarlhotep. I don't know how to say this one. A servant that carries out duties in Gnarlhotep's absence. It is a being that stands, stays in the shadows, whose goal is to see the return of its master. It stalks towards any creature slowly and quietly if it knows that Gnarlhotep's return is being threatened. If it is seen when closing in on its goal, whatever that be, it seems to retreat. Well, that's good to know. So, my guess is it'll only come at us from the front. Continuing on. Oh, stop it. The, the, mm. The mass of rats, a bunch of rats stuck together with glue, mentioned only once in the ancient texts. Horrific for no reason as much as simply being sort of gross. The writer describes it as 
being no shape at all shapes, no order, but all beauty. A sight of true horror and magnificence. The true definition of a... One can construct a rat mask at home with proper supplies. Apply glue liberally. It's just glue. Glue rats together. Um, I don't know what that word is. Gosh, that clock is loud as- <gasps> I see it! I see you! Hey, hey you! I see you there! Yeah, don't think I don't notice you! You, you freaking eyeball looking thing! You freaky eyeball looking thing! He's not going away though. Hmm. Go Bogeg Mount Mountainians. All right, he's gone. He's gone. We cha we we waited him away. Go Bogeg, a pillar of melting flesh spouting from the earth. Gabogig appears only once before being quickly banished by the Splurp. The earthquake it caused in its short time on Earth brought many civilizations to their knees, causing a large rift between those affected and the few nations who were not. It has, has no known way of being resummoned. Get out of here, you freaky eyeball looking thing. Do you just have to stare at it? <laughs> ah! I knocked over water. Oh crap! I think he took something. He took my that. Oh, let me get a towel. <laughs> I blame you for this, John. Oh, cool. Thanks, groove music. Okay. Okay, we're back. Um He took my he he took a thingy dingy of mine. It is just an eyeball. Alright. G O B banished by the I don't know what that is. 340. Whoa. Oh wait, look, the words are changing. The hounds of Tindalos. Not quite Hound, not quite being. The hounds are thought to be too horrific to describe. They are a being that exists only in time and manifests through space to follow its prey. It is said that the hounds are not the only object to exist in time, and that even words themselves can be communicated through the realm that the hounds inhabit. This is interesting, though. That's gonna probably come in like handy at some point. Gofke. Four armed creatures that live in the deepest, coldest parts of the earth, notably Antarctica and the high mountains. They often live alone, although have been recorded to come together under certain dire circumstances. Most famously, when the Gofke banished Gog themselves. Securing humanity's future on the planet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this first letter is a G. This is a G. Yeah, boy. E. E looks like a spaceship. Ooh, the ancient began. I I'm I am digging this. I'm I'm really having fun with this. Eldritch devices. Clock of Tindalos. That's our clock. An artifact stolen from time itself. The clock displays different messages caught in time, depending on where its hands lay. The messages it shows are never ordered, instead appearing as a string of letters to be sorted out by those that observe them. 
it is rumored that adjusting its hands creates altogether n new connections from time to space. I'm really bad at these. So this is a word scramble. Damons with two S's. This is our box that we just lost. Ancient box. Taken from the depths of the ocean, this box contains a secret known only to the ones that hid it. Ancient text describes the way to open it has been thrown into the streams of time to keep its secrets safe from the eldritch monsters. Tradition holds that the box can be opened through the use of a single word, although many have tried and been unable. M. So that gives us a hint as to how to open it. 340 M. So then you have all those. I bet it's this one. This is this is the word you use to open it. You have to arrange this into something. M being the first one. The Eldritch Board. Used for banishment and summoning of creatures from the ancient realm to the human realm and back. The Eldritch Board was developed as a way to dispel the ancient horrors. Combinations used to conduct these acts have slowly been lost over time, although scraps of combinations written in the ancient alphabet still exist. Monster! That's a B! That's a B! That's a B! Boom. Hang on. That's a D. That's a D. D. That is a D. Is that a D? That's a D. That's a D. Guys. You are smart. The spawn of Cthulhu. Look at him chilling, dude. He's just having a star spawn. Star spawn of Cthulhu. An elder civilization. These beings seem to be made neither of matter nor energy. A handful of scripts exist detailing encounters with a star spawn, changing from its own to a different shape and back again. Possibly even into non-creature forms. It is unclear what connection they share with Cthulhu, except adorant worshipper. To Sagatha. Sagatha. The toad god. Tzagatha slumbers in the ancient realm, oozing small toads out his pores. It is recorded that these smaller toads either explode after a few moments or cross the interdimensionary path to the human realm where they will take the form of a wild bear and then explode. Why exploding bears, John? What do you... What do you... What... Rude. The chunks of these toad bears can be reassembled to make clever gifts... For parties or other get-togethers. <laughs> the Shagatha. Blob-like beings that envelop creatures and non-creatures alike. The Shagath possesses incredible speed in immense cold, but slow and become more puddle-like in warmth. Early manuscripts seem to view Shagath as harmless creatures, sometimes even shortening their name and adding an I at the end. It was common in the ancient language to show endearment. Oh, that's an I then. That is an I. Once I find it. I. We're getting there. S H O G G I. Hey, we got a bunch more. That is a G. All right. Ducky. Elder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ducky. Eldritch Duck. Ducky has become an Eldritch being somehow and is just living it up. Instead of bringing terror to anyone, Ducky has used his Eldritch powers to make sure that everyone has a really nice day and insists you take a break to eat a sandwich. Ducky would also like you to know that <laughs> means quack ducky <laughs> ducky's the nicest ducky gave us an entire word so it's just, it's just the developer saying hey psst, psst, hey this word means quack ducky that's very nice of you raw tegoth or roll a big bug god raw tegoth decided to slumber under the ocean near Australia, which is unfortunate 
because it also drowned. Rao Rahan Rahan Tagath is the biggest and deadliest bug in the whole wide world. An excerpt. Blink is decomposing. Large chunks of his body can be found on a regular basis floating on the shores of the Indian Ocean. Nobody has dared to snack upon his flesh. R U L. Hey, we got another word. Hmm. The bugs. F F F F. That is F. <laughs> nice. Re Resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm began with the middle four. You know what? We can figure this out. We can figure this out easily now. We don't even need to read the rest of the book. Yep. Yeah. Nope. That's an. This is an M. It feels like it's slightly cheaty, but eh. You know what are you gonna do? Yeah, that, there it is. We did it. <laughs> uh, we need a V still. This could be it. No. Hey, we got it. I'm still curious to read these. The bugs. They started as a handful of bugs that were found in a small village. One by one, more bugs collected in the center, forming a larger and larger mound that only continued to grow. To avoid the eventual takeover of the world, the bugs were contained in a lead bucket with a lid. Nobody knows what horrors would be found were the bugs exposed. Infested? Could this have been written by Charlotte? Uh, yeah, sure. Narl Hatep, causer of deceit and confusion, the largest eldritch threat to humanity. It is common for Narl Hatep to infest the body of a human and control them for its own motives. Where Narl Hatep is at the moment is unknown. However, if it has taken someone as its host, banishment of that individual to the ancient realm is the only way to stop it from shrouding our consciousness in its eventual darkness. So that's saying if we do this, we lose, like, it's over. Let's do it. Uh, begin with the middle, uh, resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm. Begin with the middle four, press the top two corners, then press those right beneath. Mark the lowest row, save the rightmost, which will be last. Press the two remaining sides, and then those in the upper row. Uh, press the final node. Not it. Oh, holy cow. That you can look around with spacebar. I didn't know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so I, I asked my wife, who's really smart, I gave, her the, I gave her the puzzle, and I said, what is it? And she was like, oh, yeah, that's madness, that's really easy. And I went, well, it's easy if you're good at stuff like this. And she is. So it was easy. <laughs> oh. What? Whoa! If you are reading this, a loved one has been infested with the soul of Nyarlhotep and banished to the ancient realm. This has traditionally been a hopeless loss of someone special. However, I have done much research of the ancient text and believe I have found something important that I must hide so it cannot be undone by the evil beings. Bringing your loved one back can be done with the use of the Eldritch Board. That's good. Doing so will also bring the soul of Nyarlhotep with them and the world will fall into chaos. However, were the first and last steps of the board sequence switched, I have reason to believe this will split the souls apart and bring your loved one back without the darkness. I pray you use this information with immense 
caution, as if I'm wrong, humanity as we know it will cease. Got it! Okay. Get, get out of here. We can let him steal that thing now. We got it. I, hey, Bride of Chaos, say hello. Hi. I've explained to her the puzzle, and she's going to help me because I small brain, and small brain can't solve this. Okay. We got the middle four. Oh. Okay, top, top. Okay. That actually makes a lot of sense. All right. Hang on. I bet that's it. Begin with the middle four. Oh, you're a smart lady, I bet. No, I don't even bet. I know you are. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corn. Okay. Hang on. All right. I want the good ending. So I'm going to do it wrong. So it's the rightmost first. Okay. <laughs> Noah. All right. Press the top two corners and then those right beneath. Top two corners and those right beneath. Okay. Mark the bottom row. Okay. And then the remaining sides. The top row and then the corner. Yes! That is it! You're a smart lady! Charlotte, the woman I love. She stood before me, exactly as I remembered her. No longer did she have a beast inside her. The ancient split had given her back. I grabbed her hand and led her outside the library. We stood together in the moonlight. No words were shared with each other, but no words were needed. All was right. Ah, oh, so good! So good! I'm not smart. My wife is a brilliant person. We're start with full journal. It doesn't matter. Whatever. We're start with furl journal. Here we go. And then those right beneath. There we go. Sides. Booyah! I don't even need the journal. <laughs> In a moment, the ritual was completed, but something was wrong. Charlotte appeared in front of me, but I saw so clearly that she was not who I remembered her to be. There was a beast inside her, something horrible, dark. Neolarthotep had taken form in my love, and I had unleashed it back into the world. Uh -oh. With a cry of horror, I hid my face, but it was no use. Neolarthotep enveloped me, using my soul to fill the gap that was left in the ancient realm. There was nothing to stop Neolarthotep from destroying our realm. Darkness enshrouded the human world. I had brought about the new reign of the ancient gods. <laughs> you missed something! I did not! I got it the first try! Awesome! Yeah! Sometimes my brain not good, but my wife is there because I'm not smart. <laughs> it just occurred to me. We have to go back out and we have to see what the the thing is. Alrighty. Uh, welcome back. Hope you picked the right tape for this whole thing. In trouble. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I'm just kidding. There's no correct order. But funny enough, I actually can't set the order for you. The virus would redevelop into active parts of your brain if you knew what to expect. Mm. It's, uh, well, it's tricky, like that. Or, uh, maybe I did set the order and now I'm just tricking the virus into specific areas to more easily lobotomize. Lobotomy! <laughs> uh, anyways, um, let's continue. See that door? Okay. Go through there. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got a body part. Oh, you know what? No, we are going to do this next time. All right, you beautiful humans. If you want to see the rest of the Dread X collection, please smash buttons and maybe even comment below. And if you share this video, any and all of that would make my heart go. Kill it.
<laughs> you're gonna kill it in kindergarten, Shorty. We are surely gonna kill it next time we play this game. <laughs> And as always, have an amazing rest of your day. And here's your heart and your blink. Bye. The end of Gnarlhotep. Gnarlhotep. Hey, hey, you. I see you there. Yeah, don't think I don't notice you. You, you freaking eyeball looking thing. You freaky eyeball looking thing. Gug, bug, gig. Monster, that's a B. That's a B. That's a B. That's a B. That's a B.